Welcome to Linux Repertory. In this video, we are going to see how to install NestCloud on Ubuntu. NestCloud is an open source cloud software which is used to store the files for the clients on a centralized server. So the client don't need to store the data on their local machines. They can able to store the data on the server by using this NestCloud software and the files can be stored over the network. NestCloud is a craft platform tool, so we can able to install it in Windows, Mac and Linux. So in this video, let me show you how to install NestCloud on Ubuntu. Before installing NestCloud, we need to set up LAN server. So run the command apt get space install space lamp hyphen server and then put the symbol and space hyphen y now hit enter now the package for lamp server is installing wait for some time while installing the lamp packages it will ask you to set the root password for mysql here you can type root password and then wait for some time now the packages are installed. After installing the LAMP packages, we need to install some PHP extensions. For that, run the following command. Now type this command. We need to install this PHP extension. Now hit enter. Now it's installing. Wait for some time. Now the PHP extensions are installed. Next we need to delete php.infl. Now type this command to open php.ini file and then here look for the following parameters and then change the value as follows. Now here change the value into 512 MB and then here set the time zone. You can remove the semicolon and then type your time zone here. And then here change the value into 200 MB and then change this value also 200 MB. Now save the file. Next we need to list out the Apache service system TTL space restart space Apache 2. Next, we will create database and database user for this cloud. So, log into the MySQL database. Type the command MySQL space hyphen u space root space hyphen p. And then here, run the following commands to create database and database user. Now, type this command. This command will create a database called cloud underscore db. And then type this command. This command will create the user called cloud underscore user, and the user will have the password 123. And then this command will grant all permissions for the user to the database. Now hit enter. Now we can press the privileges. Now we can exit from the database. Now we can move to the document route. From here, run the following command to download the package for next cloud. Now type this command and then hit enter. Now the package is downloading. Wait for some time. Now the download is completed. Here you can see as if well a new document root. This is the package for NetCloud. Now extract the package using unzip command. Type unzip space package name and hit enter. 
now it's extracting after extracting you can find a new directory under the document root here you can see the directory next cloud so this is the directory for next cloud now we need to change the ownership for this directory to the apache user and apache group now type the command ch1 space hyphen capital r space www hyphen data and then colon www hyphen data and space the directory name now hit enter now the ownership has been changed here you can list now you can see now the data is found by this user and this group next we need to create virtual host entry for that we need to create new configuration file for apache so, so run the following command now type this command to create the new configuration file sql.conf under this directory now hit enter and then here create the entry as follows now type like this and then save the file and then type this command here this command will create the soft link from site available directory into site enabled directory now hit enter next we need to enable some apache modules for that run the following commands enable the apache redirect module and enable the headers module now enable env module and enable dir module and enable the my module after that restart the apache service system ctl space restart space apache 2 now all thing is set next you can open the browser and then start the installation install for next cloud now open the browser and then here type the link as follows here you need to type your IP address and then slash the directory name which is located under the document root here in my case the name is nestcloud now type like this you must replace with your IP address or host name and then the directory name as well now hit enter now here you can see this called installation insert here you can create your admin account type any name you want and then type the password here please enter your database name and database username and password now type it and then click here now we can see now nescloud is installed and then we have logged into nescloud here you can able to share the files with your clients this will act as a cloud storage here you can able to create directories and the files and then you can able to share with your clients and then the clients can be able to modify the files so that's all about the installation of nescloud on ubuntu hope this video is helpful for you Thank you for watching.